All right, folks, I'm Tom Downey. Alongside me is Mitchell Reigns. If you missed it, earlier there was some breaking news trade about the uh, Emmanuel Ogba deal. He goes to Kansas City in exchange for Eric Murray. Let's get to some comments instead here. AKA Ninja 26314, Seahawks draft DK Metcalf or AJ Brown because fantastic typo. <laughs> Doe Baldwin, new nickname for Doug, is getting old. So, she, so sh should the Seahawks draft a defense or offense? Just so you know, they are, I think he means weird. Or they wild. are They are a weird drafting team, I agree. I actually mentioned this on, my, I think it was my most recent mock draft, that receiver was a dark horse pick for the Seattle Seahawks. They need them. They need a receiver. They need somebody else who Russell Wilson can throw to. I think when you look at what the actual definition of an MVP is, Russell Wilson fits Most that. valuable player. Yes. Yeah. He is the most valuable player to his team on yes. any other team, in my Yet opinion. Yet they keep trying to run the football, which is weird. So I, I, I do think Seattle is a sleeper for receiver. Beyond those two names, I'll throw out like a Hakeem Butler. Okay. Maybe Kelvin Harmon. Yeah. If they want to just have only speed, uh, vertically pair Tyler Lockett with Marquise Brown. That's a fun deal. I don't, I don't think they do it. But Seattle does do weird stuff. I would not be surprised by a receiver there. From Steel Hardwood, will the Niners trade a running back since they have its pronounced steel? Since they have an abundance of I'm saying, just don't Google that name. Why would any, everyone knows not to do that. I even try to play it off and ignore it. And I'm just, just saying. Just double down. Somebody do me a favor, actually, and Google Steel Hardwood. Tell me what comes up. Send me, send me a video at Mitchell Renz 365. Will the Niners trade a running back since that they have an abundance of them? I think they, sh they should consider it. I definitely think they should. I think Devin Coleman, you asked me, and we'll ask you guys right now. We don't have the weigh-in, but uh, Tevin Coleman or Jarek McKinnon, who's a better running back? I think Coleman is. I think Tevin Coleman's I think, a much I think he's been more back. productive. Everyone loves McKinnon because he's this sparky guy, but, like, if you had told me McKinnon signed for what he signed and Coleman signed for what he signed, I'd been like, mm, those are flipped, right? You, you made a typo. And not the case at all. Nope. So there you go. All right, Jared Sanchez, who do the Steelers draft in the first round? He makes note that they've signed Mark Barron, Steven Nelson, Dante Moncrief. The Steelers were smart. What smart NFL teams do, or at least try to do, is you don't go into the NFL draft with a bunch of glaring needs. Linebacker, I'd say safety still includes there in terms of the deep safety position. Corner and receiver were some of those big needs. I don't love Mark Barron or Nelson or Moncrief, but it gives you the possibility to avoid having the glaring need. Now, I think that they're looking at a Power 5 prospect okay. who's a good athlete. That tends to be their MO. Tre uh, Tremaine Evans fit that role, or Terrell Evans fit that role as well. If Greedy Williams is there, I think he's the pick. I think there's a decent chance. You think Greedy chance. falls that much? I think there is we've a seen, pretty decent chance. We've that he does. seen that's, that's the thing. Greedy, you kind of jinxed him again. You're going to jinx a few players. Tom always jinxes one player, but I feel like Greedy was going like top five, top ten in mocks, and now we're talking about him sliding past. Well, he, he's fast, but there are some flaws in his game. Okay. I, I think the hype kind of outweighed a little bit of, of the film stuff. Fair enough. I, I haven't looked at what's on screen here yet, but Spider Bitten says. If the Cardinals draft Murray at one, then Tom should have to cover day two of the draft wearing a coconut bra and a grass Hulu skirt. Uh, why do you want me to wear that, guys? I see right through it. Can Thoughts on this one, Mitch? Because you're, you're, you're kind of like trying to process this. Can you see through a coconut bra and Hulu skirt? No, you can't see through it. And then why'd you say you can see right through this? No, I can Your see. Words, I can not see mine. through. I'm, not, I'm just not going to win this one. Uh, interesting idea. Uh, we'll, we'll include that one. It's a possibility there. Gucci boy, what's more likely? D. Lawrence pulling a Le'Veon Bell or being traded? Oh, God, my nightmare. That um, is a great question. It's a Gucci question. Oh, God. I think there's a better chance of him pulling a Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, I kind of think so, too. I don't, I don't think he'd do it. I, 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 think, I, didn't, I didn't think Le'Veon would. I told, I told people to draft Le'Veon. Very true. You know, how'd that go? Very true. Um, yeah. Um, are you going to give an answer today, or are we going to yeah, have to ask no, him I think it's him pulling a bell in the end. I, I don't think they'd trade him. I think the Cowboys would try to, much like Pittsburgh did, try to inf enforce their will, more okay. or less. It's just an option there. From Mitchell again, any trade rumors on Tank or an, up, or, or, or an update on his contract there? I haven't heard much in terms of the trade front. I, I think, again, for the Cowboys, come back in, like, two weeks. 
Let's see where we sit around April 15th when offseason program begins, if there's still no new deal, if the surgery hasn't happened yet for Demarcus Lawrence. Because at that point, I do think you need to consider a trade. Okay. Because the one thing you can't do is have a Lev Bell situation where either A, he doesn't play, you rescind the tag, and you lose out value in terms of return on Tank Lawrence, and you don't get on, on the field play. I, I agree. Okay, I'm not thank gonna, you. <laughs> we just right. Trevor George, Alexander Peters the first. I just summed it up too well. Sorry, guys. Do you see the Bengals getting rid of Dalton? What do you think, Mitch? I thought that they were going to. Mm -hmm. uh, they might try to keep him around for another year. Maybe it's a smart way for them to tank without tanking because mm -hmm. I don't think Andy Dalton's very good. So I kind of think the Bengals are considering a quarterback in round one this year. They could be a sneaky team. What are they, 13? 11. 11. They're 11. I don't think they'd trade up, but if someone like Locke or Haskins starts to slide, I, I, I could see it. And I'm very curious what happens with the quarterbacks because if the Giants don't go quarterback at six, who's taking one in the, in the top ten? I don't think Jacksonville does. I think Denver might. The Bengals are by far the worst team in that division, mm -hmm. and I don't really know what they're trying to do. I don't really know if they know what their team MO is. I think that's a very fair assessment. But at the same time, I love Joe Mixon. You better get what you got out of A.J. Green because he's 31. He's only got a few years left. That defense, though, is really bad. And that offense is, yeah, average. Yeah. Right. Thunder 404, what's the latest on the possibility of the Giants trading for Josh Rosen? Mitch, what do you have? You well, just, you did film a video today. About I did it. film a video, and it's going to be coming out tomorrow at mm -hmm. two o'clock, all right, Pacific time or Pacific time, Central time. There you go, Central time. This is not the West Coast. Well, I'm, I'm so used to Raiders on my mind, so <laughs> I won't totally give away everything. So I'm going to tell you to check that out at YouTube.com/slash/ChatSportsTV. Yeah. Two o'clock Central time. Video is coming out. My top five teams that you could trade for Josh Rosen, and uh, yeah, the Giants will 100% be on that list. They're smart. They definitely should. If they're smart. That's how you started that. I felt the need to add that qualifier. David yeah. Gettleman. All right. Uh, Maria, will, the, will Nick Foles do well in Jacksonville? Uh, I don't think she said well. I correct for some people, okay? And well, where's Jack, fine, Jackson? Fine. Will Jackinville. Nick, will Nick Foles do good for Jackinville? <laughs> there you go. Don't Google Jackinville either. <laughs> or Big Dick Nick. Um, <laughs> uh, no, uh, I think he'll be okay, but at the end of the day, you're paying him four, four you got what, four years, 88 mil, can earn up to 102. Nick Foles is a pretty good quarterback, but he still doesn't have a lot of talent around him. <sighs> you need Fournette to actually be good, because he has not been that good so far. He's, a, he's definitely averaged, what, over, he's under four yards per carry. He, he's, now teams are stacking the box against him. He's a little him. bit more like, like Trent Richardson than uh, he has don't Saquon do like Barkley. Well, more. Yeah. I don't know how many people look like Saquon Barkley. He's an absolute freak of nature. Yeah, but Fournette went top four. Like I, if you're spending, how, okay, how about Zeke then? Better? Sure. Not really. All right, Ray, what you got for me on Facebook? Ooh. Again, guys, use that hashtag NFL to get featured Ooh. on the show. Tyreek trade, question mark. Tyreek Hill trade. I don't think the Chiefs should do it. I, you're trading him at his lowest value. Exactly. That's the thing. Like w w with, the, with the legal issues he's facing right now, it's either you cut him or you keep him. Like, you're, you're not going to get trade value back for him right now. And if you are going to get trade value back, that probably means that maybe you should just hold on to him because he's probably going to be in the play. Now, he does apparently want to be the highest paid wide receiver at some point, but now I don't think he is going to be able to get that because of these off-the-field issues. But again, then you're going to have to pay Patrick Mahomes probably the biggest contract in the NFL has ever seen. Mm. What do you do with Tyreek? I personally don't think you could trade him because, like you said, you're selling low right now, which is never a good thing. All right, Nick Miller, what position are the Ravens most likely to draft? Tight end. <sighs> it's good. I like that. That's good. Probably a tight end. Um, I'd say in terms of round one, which I think we're really asking you, you're looking at receiver. I think that's a pretty obvious fit there. You need to get somebody for Lamar Jackson. Right now you've got I'm trying to think. Willie Sneed is your number one receiver. That's 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 just that's not going to get the job done. You don't got the need for Sneed? Not as my number one uh. guy now. I think edge rusher, you lost Terrell Suggs and Zadarius. Now, yeah, you have Matthew Judon. You're hoping that either Tyus Bauer or Tim Williams steps up in year. I think this is year three for them. Then I think your dark horse is interior offensive line. Okay, really try to build that in, inside build, yeah, line. Because you're, you're going to run, run the football. And I think you're looking for one more starter. You have Marshall Yonda on, at guard. Is it Alex Lewis? Is it James Hurst? Do you really trust Matt Skura at center? I think that is kind of where you're looking if you're the Baltimore Ravens there. 
I just got a uh, Mitchell Wren sucks. Hashtag Lions fan. Sorry, <laughs> sorry that you're a Lions fan. You you have triggered Lions fans like no other. All right, from Bray Davis. Is this Bray? No. Is it is Bray back? What happened to Bray? All right, do you see the Chiefs making any more big trades for a guy like Rhodes? I don't think so. They have the assets in the draft or for the Chiefs. It makes sense. I actually would love to see a Xavier Rhodes trade to Kansas City. I think that would be a fantastic be move for, for Kansas City. But I don't know if they'd actually do it. And more importantly, I don't know if Minnesota would. But that's fun. That's a good fit for them. All right, I hear you. All right, next question coming in from Charlie December. Uh, what do you think is the best Stop cornerback it. in the class? I think it's Greedy Williams, followed up by Byron Murphy after that. Those are my top two guys. Yeah, I'm going to go greedy as well. Charlie, get a picture. 